will the United States qualify for the World Cup? What's up, everybody, and welcome back. We have the CONCACAF final stage. It's the final window to see who makes it and who's out. We already know the bottom two teams are completely out, but everyone else kind of has a fighting chance. Uh, so we're kind of just going to jump right into it. So right now the table is Canada is first, U.S. is second on goal differential because them and Mexico have the same amount of points. Mexico's third, and Panama is currently sitting at fourth um, in that spot. So the top three automatically qualify where that fourth position is in a world like playoff game. So moving on and to the first match of the uh, that we're going to cover is Costa Rica versus Canada. Costa Rica has been unbeaten at home in the last four, but Canada hasn't been beaten, hasn't lost in 11 games. Canada is killing it right now. Uh, both teams, uh, you know, Costa Rica and Canada, Costa Rica is making kind of a tear, um, potentially making it into that playoff spot. Uh, just depends on on the outcome of, you know, what Panama does this, this window. So, with this game, though, you know, Canada has not lost in 11 games, like I said. But Costa Rica's last five games, um, four, uh, three wins, a draw, and a loss. Their last loss came to Canada, away at Canada. For this game, though, I believe that Costa Rica walks away with a one-to-one -one draw, helping them out not as much as beating Canada. So I think that, uh, and see, Canada can kind of, to me, can kind of relax. I, I think that they've made it pretty much no matter what. I haven't looked at all the scenarios. I don't know if there's any way that they cannot, if they would like happen to lose all three games, if they would actually be completely out. I don't think so because they're four points ahead of everyone else. So, but moving on, we have next up Jamaica versus El Salvador. Um, Jamaica has been struggling. Um, they've lost their last four games. Whereas El Salvador, um, they are currently one win, uh, one draw, three losses. Um, and then their last game, they lost to Canada, zero to two. And again, Jamaica, I, I can't believe Jamaica. I'm a little up down by Jamaica. Uh, I would be very frustrated if I was a Jamaican fan because of the talent that they do have and how terrible they have done in this final stage of World Club qualifying. But I'm going to stick with it, and I think that they're going to turn it around here, even though that they have no chance of getting in. I believe that they beat El Salvador 1-0 at home. Uh, but, yeah, I just I don't feel like uh, El Salvador. They're, they're both, like, right there together. I mean, El Salvador sitting sixth in the table, whereas Jamaica is... Uh, set in seventh. I just think Jamaica does have the the better team than El Salvador. And then probably now we have the biggest game of probably the window uh, to determine who is second place in the table and who is third place, and that is Mexico versus the U.S. The the U.S. has won the last three games uh, against Mexico. But I think all three of those games came on uh, United States soil. I'm pretty sure. So, with that being said, we are at Azteca. Currently, Mexico's form is two wins, two draws, and a loss. <clears throat> Whereas the U.S. is three wins, a draw, and a loss. This is going to be a good game. I, I feel like it's going to be very chippy. I, there will probably be a little bit of sc some scuffles. But unfortunately, I know I am a USA fan. I want them to win every game. We're missing people. Uh, now we're hearing that uh, uh, Aaron Sin is out too 
along with Desk and McKinney. So it's going to it's gonna be very hard for the U.S. It, it's going to be a struggle, and uh, we're not going to get it done in this game. I believe that Mexico win 2-1 to one over the U.S. Um, at the Azteca, and that puts them into second at, at that point in time. They, they move into second place, and the United States move, drops down to third in the table, kind of putting us at risk to have to play in that playoff game, it, you know, depending on Panama and uh, Costa Rica. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it's a good game. But, yes, 2-1 to one, Mexico. Following up on that, we have Panama versus Honduras. Um, Panama's current form is two wins, a draw, and two losses, whereas Honduras has lost the last five games. Yes. Uh, again, Panama is actually unbeaten in the last six home games of theirs. Uh, and then Honduras actually has lost, so I, I said that their current five-game streak is all losses. They have actually lost the last eight games um, of theirs. So they are sitting last in the table, whereas Panama is sitting at fourth. And I will say Panama gets another three points here, beating Honduras at home two to nothing. Uh, Panama is just the stronger side. Panama is killing it right now. Um I, I really, I think, as you will see through here, I think that Panama will actually qualify, will we'll get that last spot, I believe. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. So next up, this is moving into the next match day. So these are the games on Sunday the 27th. So we got Canada versus Jamaica. Uh, Canada is playing at home. Uh, so at this point in time, Canada would be now on their 12th game winning streak if my first game prediction is right whereas Mexico would have lost would have I mean not Mexico Jamaica would have won their last game putting them at a their five game form a win and four losses uh, unfortunately I think that they'll go to Canada but Canada is just too good and Canada will win this game at home two to nothing over Jamaica I don't even know if Jamaica will even uh, bring a good squad. You know, that that's something you also have to look at. And also, I did not look at the Canadian um, roster to see who they brought for this window. They might have even left out some of their, you know, better people just because they've pretty much made it in. So you don't want to risk, you know, injury even though, you know, there's going to be this huge gap between now and, what is it, November is when the World Cup starts. So, so yeah, so moving on, El Salvador versus Costa Rica. Uh, this game is play, being played in El Salvador. Uh, El Salvador, I had them losing against Jamaica last week, and then Costa Rica had them tying. Again, El Salvador is not all that great. Well, no, hold on. I take that back. I'm sorry. I, I got them mixed up with Honduras. You know, this is a 5-6 matchup. This is going to be a really good game. Uh, I don't think that there's too much that's going to separate this side. So I had El Salvador actually... No, I had El Salvador actually losing their game against uh, Jamaica. And then Costa Rica tying against Canada. I'm getting a little mixed up here. I'm sorry. Uh, but this game, I think that El Salvador, they're, they're going to have to fight to stay alive in this game, but I believe that this game will end up in a 2-2 two -to -two draw, which helps out Costa Rica more than El Salvador, in my opinion. So with that being said, we move on to, what is it, Honduras versus Mexico. Again, Honduras is just, they're not doing well. Uh, they're struggling. And I think that their struggles continue. And to be honest, I believe that Mexico wins this game two to nothing. Not going to spend too much time on this game because, again, Honduras has no chance of qualifying, and Mexico is just the better side. So moving on, we have USA versus Panama. 
Uh, people will probably say this game is going to be a little bit closer than what I'm going to think it is. So at this point in time, USA would be sitting uh, third in the table. Panama is still sitting at fourth. Uh, with the U.S. being at home, they are playing in a you know a, a hotter climate to help you know. I don't understand how the weather plays that big of a deal. I understand that like how they were doing it was also setting them up for travel, which is kind of smart because like they were going to Canada, so they played up you know in the northern part of the U.S. and then now with you know playing in Mexico, then playing against Panama, then going to Costa Rica. You know, it's kind of smart to play in the Southern so you're not traveling as much. I understand that, but, like, for the climate and stuff, doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Uh, soccer, soccer. Um, so, anyway, the U.S. is, they have, they are unbeaten in the last 21 games on home soil. So, that is a pretty big stat. And, uh, but Panama is a good side. I had Panama beating Honduras in the first match. I do not believe that Panama can get this done. I think the U.S. will come into this game and beat them 3-1. to one. Maybe not 3-1. to one. It possibly could be 2-1 to one just because of how many key guys we are missing. I'm very, I'm very nervous with the midfield and then goalkeeper. I know that Horvath is a pretty good keeper. I really wish that Matt was Matt Turner was healthy. Um, I would have had him even over Stefan. Stefan has been very inconsistent playing time with his like back injury and whatever other injury he has. So he has not had consistent minutes. Um, I know that he played. I think I think he played the other day. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I just I'm very. I'm scared. I'm a little scared for this window. But here I think we get the 3-1 to one win over Panama. And then I think that leads us into the final match day, which is March 30th. And we start off with Costa Rica versus the U.S. This is one where we travel to Costa Rica. We're missing people. Uh, Costa Rica is a tough side. They are fighting to try to get that fourth spot. Uh, but I, I got a feeling that the U.S. will probably kind of sit back. I don't know why I've got this feeling. But we're going to kind of sit back and just counterattack on them. Uh, even though we are usually an attacking side. But I think that we're going to try to just come out of this with a point. And I think that we will. I think this game ends up in a one-to-one -one draw. Uh, down in Costa Rica. I got a feeling, but I, I really think this game could go either way. I really think Costa Rica could beat us one nothing. I don't think they could beat a. I don't think it'd be worse than that. Either way, like e you know, it could even be a one nothing win for the U.S. Uh, but I don't think that there's going to be more than two goals scored in this game. So with that being said, we move on to Jamaica against Honduras. So this is. <laughs> pretty much the toilet bowl. Uh, it's the last two teams in the table playing against each other. They are in Jamaica, and I feel like Jamaica is going to go out with a nice, a nice window. I think that they will come out of this window with six points, maybe giving them a little bit of confidence, and I believe that they win this game 2-1 to one over Honduras. And so, that being said, we're down to our last two games. So, we have Mexico versus El Salvador. And I believe that, once again, this game that's being played at the Azteca, Mexico is, are just good at home, usually. Um, Mexico has not lost to El Salvador in the last eight meetings. So, they're 8-0 no in the last eight meetings against El Salvador. And I don't think that changes. I think Mexico wins this game two to nothing. Uh, you know, with ceiling, that, that's that gives Mexico a nine point window. I I feel like this window. So that makes them, that puts them in second in the table. And the U.S. That's a. I think if I did my numbers correctly, that that means they're third. And then our final game is Panama versus Canada. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. 
and I, I really should have looked at this more and looked at Canada, uh, see who they were bringing because I have Canada winning this game two to one away at Panama. But Panama is a good side. I could see them either drawing this game or potentially even maybe winning like one nothing or two to one against Canada. But I will stick with my my prediction here, two to one um, Canada. So with that, let's look at what the this is my prediction. So Canada ends up with thirty two points. Mexico ends up with 30, U.S. ends up with 25, and Panama ends up with 20. And really, I should have looked to see what actually uh, Costa Rica ended up with because be before these games, they have 16 points, so they get one. That's 17, 18, 19. So they only get 19 points. So they're right there. And really, it this could be... This right here could be, it could even be Costa Rica. If Costa Rica would happen to win against the U.S. at home, you know, that could potentially, but then also if Panama would beat Canada. So many, there's so many things that we could go back and forth on, but this is my prediction. I'm going to stick with it. Uh, please tell me in the comments below what your thoughts are, if you think I got these completely wrong or not. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. We are on the road to 100 subscribers. I think before this video, I was at about 90, so I'm just pushing for that 10 more. So if you can, help me out, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.